What's up, fellow K-pop fans, and what's up, fellow carrot people? <laughs> what's up, fellow carrots? How's it going, you guys? We are going to be checking out some more Seventeen today. I am loving Seventeen. Uh, I loved them from the first day that I checked them out with Don't Want to Cry. Dun, 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 dun. Chicka bow wow, chicka bow wow. I just think it's a really good song. And uh, I was really impressed with their vocals. I was really impressed with the choreography. So now they're coming out with all these, I don't know what they want to, well, I don't know what they call them, but the things with the teams coming out with different stuff. I have yet to check out the hip hop um, unit, but I will definitely. But from what I've seen from the leader team, I think they called it, and the performance team, I think is what they called it. Love it, man. Change up, change up, change up. That is so good, man. I love, I think his name's Woozy. Dude, Woozy is friggin' awesome. Love that guy, so shout out to him. He's probably my bias of the group, but I don't know everyone of the group, so that's unfair to really say. But I love his voice. Super talented. I like his look. Cool dude, for sure. Okay, so a lot of you guys asked for this. The name of the song is Pinwheel. We're not 100% sure that's the name of it because it's all in Korean on here, but I think that's the name of it. At first, I was confused because it says 17, 17 vocal team. So I was like, is the name of the song 17? Because that would be very confusing. 17, 17, 17. Uh, did I lose you guys? I hope not. You're here, right? You're still here, right? You're here. Okay. Let me take a sip of my coffee. Very quickly, before we get into this review, Patreon. A bunch of exclusive stuff we have on there. We just uploaded a review of Twice's One More Time music video, totally exclusive to Patreon. Uh, and we just literally today, maybe a couple hours ago, uploaded Weekly Idol Reaction to G Friend, uh, episode 293, if I remember correctly. So you guys, go check that out if you can. If you want to become a Patreon, that would be freaking awesome. If you can't, you guys, I still love you all. And it's totally cool, and I totally understand if you don't have the money for it or whatever, man. I, like, seriously, I totally get it. I totally get it. And for those of you who have already signed up, thank you so much. Uh, again, if you guys want to check out the Patreon, the link is in the description. And two other things that I want to say, they're kind of related, but kind of not. I want to start doing Q&A videos. If you have any questions that you would like me to answer in a video rather than just type it to you guys, because you guys know I always message you back, or at least I try to, make sure you hashtag it, hashtag Q and A, whatever your questions might be. Uh, I already have a couple questions, but I want to get a bunch and I want to I would like to eventually make a series out of it. I think it'd be cool. So thank you guys for that. Thank you for indulging me for uh, the moment. Let's dive in to Pinwheel right now. I threw it that time. I didn't point, I threw it right now. I was dropping bombs, I guess. Really beautiful piano right from the start. Yep, pinwheel. Ooh. His voice sounds great. So much emotion in his vocal. Sounds beautiful. I really like those tambourine hits. Nice. I love this piano, man. Pretty music video. Ooh. That's cool how they changed up the beat right here. It's got a little bit of a marching vibe on the snare. Very light, though. You guys hear that reverb right there? That echoey reverb? That was cool. Pretty strings. Ooh. 
Nice harmony right there, nice lower octave vocal. It's a really pretty song. Nice bridge here, it went right up there. That's cool. I like that shot around them around uh, with them around the piano. It's cool. Beautiful piano, man. I really love that. Ah, that was a cool. Um, they have that fade going on there. I think it's a cross fade where it's like and it might have been backwards too for the piano. Uh, there's an FT Island song that does that, and I can't remember what it is right now off the top of my head. It might be severely. Maybe not. I can't remember. <laughs> hmm. I really like the like really rainy day kind of atmosphere. I hate those kind of days. So it kind of was a nice uh, way to suit the mood, in my opinion. And now we can just listen to the ocean, you guys. It's actually really relaxing. Oh, Jesus, it skipped at the end. Where? What the fuck happened? <laughs> it, I don't know if it does that in the actual thing, but it just went... <laughs> Uh, really good song, you guys. You know what this kind of reminds me of? Um, something 2AM would do. I love those types of really emotional ballads. I think they're beautiful, man. And they did it. It is like a top-notch ballad right here. It's really beautiful. Some really cool things they did, too. Like, they didn't overdo experimentation or anything. But there was cool things that they did with the drums. Like, having that... They weren't hitting a snare, I don't think. It sounded like a block or something. And they were also hitting the tambourine, like, at the same time. I loved that sound, man. It sounded really cool. And then they changed it up a little bit with those drums with the, uh, like a little bit of a march going on in the snare, but very lightly. I thought that was really cool too. All the guys' voices, you know what? They have really unique voices to each other. You can tell who's singing when and where, which is very cool. And I really appreciate that, man. I think it's very important for a group to have different types of vocalists, you know what I mean? Yeah, I mean, it can also be good too sometimes when a lot of vocalists are, are in a, the same group together and they have similar voices, that can work too. But I prefer usually when all the different members have very unique voices from each other and all these guys uh, totally different from each other, really. And I really loved that. Just a very pretty song. And as I've said multiple times, that piano uh, it was really beautiful. I mean, the sound of it, the recording of it, the melody, the way it's being played, just gorgeous. Uh, and the guy's voices are really emotional, and uh, you can tell, you know what I mean? It, it sounds really beautiful. Loved it. Another 17 song that I loved. Carrots, I'm sure you loved it. Dreamers, I hope that you loved it. If you're not a carrot, I, I hope that you still loved it and enjoyed this review and enjoyed listening to that with me. Dreamers, keep on dreaming. Gonna keep this ending short. I'll see you in the next video, and until then... Anjong.